my tomato plants are struggling some. I'm having a leaf curl and I'm having some interesting growth here. The, the stems are nice and uh, thicker here, but then this new growth that's coming on, they're coming on really kind of thin and they just don't look real healthy. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but what I'm gonna do is try first treating it with vermicompost tea and see if I can get some better growth out of it. Um, all, most of my tomato plants are doing the same thing. So this one, you can see I got bigger stems down low, but then as it goes up, the new growth, I'm getting these real thin growths. They just don't look real healthy to me. Um, so, and the leaves look immature. They just aren't as big as what was developing down here. And then here's your, the new leaves here. Um, so all my plants are doing the same thing. So I'm gonna treat it with vermicompost tea and I'm gonna check back on them in a couple weeks and see if, if things are different. Um, I'm hoping I can get these guys healthier so I can get some good tomatoes. Right now they just don't look that, that healthy. All right, here is another tomato plant that's doing the same thing. So down here you can see the leaves look good size, stem is nice and thick as we move up. Uh, it's not looking so good. Right here it's getting real thin. It's like goes from looking great to looking poor. In this recipe, I basically used about one gallon of vermicompost from my worm bin. I also added molasses, four ounces of molasses. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drench these tomato plants with this vermicompost tea. So I am gonna just treat the whole plant and I'm gonna just pour it all over it and Treat all the leaves, the stems, and then I'm gonna soak it uh, down at the base of the plant so it can get to the roots too. All right, so the next video will be um, in a couple weeks once um, the vermicompost tea has had a chance to do something. And if it doesn't help, then I'll move on to the next thing. I'm just gonna treat one thing at a time. Um, I don't like to try to do too many things at once because then I don't know really what the problem was and what helped fix it. Okay, it's been about 25 days since my last video and my tomato plants are definitely healthier. Um, and these are my sandwich slicer tomatoes. Um, down here is the old growth. You can see uh, there's the old curled leaves, you know, the ones that I wasn't too impressed with. Here's some more. They stayed curled, they haven't really un uncurled. But my new growth, as I move up, is looking a lot better. So my new growth some, uh, it has a tad bit of curl to it, but you know, 
overall it looks way healthier um, and I'm having a lot of uh, blossoms come on now um, so this is the sandwich slicer tomato and um, yeah the, the stems they don't look puny um, they're putting on good foliage um, so I'm really impressed um, overall I mean these tomato plants don't look like they're struggling too bad um, with diseases it seems like I always get leaf curl and I've read that a lot of people get that with their tomato plants it doesn't take much somebody could um, treat their yard with um, herbicides you know uh, a mile half a mile away from you and it the wind picks it up and um, I've read that can cause it so it seems like tomato plants are really susceptible to that um, but you can still get a good fruit production even if you have it um, here's another sandwich slicer so here's the old growth down here and then up here you can see it's looking really good these uh, don't look bad at all. I'm very, very happy. These are my um, Big Daddy tomatoes that I planted. These ones are, I'm the least impressed with so far. They are really slow growing, um, but they are doing better. Um, I think they'll, they still haven't um, put on any flowers yet really, and it's the beginning of August. Um, so we'll see though, they're, they're looking healthier than they were before. Um, so again, here's the old growth down here, curled leaves, you know, and then as I move up, my new growth is looking really good. Leaves are not struggling with the leaf curl very much. And um, so yeah, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. Um, with how they're doing it's hard to say you know what exactly um contributed to them um doing so much better but i would like to think that my vermicompost tea um has definitely helped them to be healthier um and here's my other other one these unless these make a big turnaround i probably won't plant these again um the name sounded cool so i bought them um, Big Daddy Tomatoes, but they just have grown really slow. I've talked to someone else that said the same thing, that it was a slow growing tomato. My favorite is these guys right here. The, um, uh, they're doing the best so far. The um, Brandy Boy. It's a Brandywine hybrid. These ones actually seem to have more of the leaf curl going on than the others, but but they are still, they're actually producing tomatoes now. All right, thanks for watching. I will post some updated videos. I planted really late this year, so I may not have tomatoes coming off the vine until like end of August or sometime in September. Um, so, but I'll, I'll do some follow-up videos um, and so you can see how my uh, tomatoes did. Uh, the three varieties that I am growing are the Big Daddy, the Sandwich Slicer, and the Brandy Boy Hybrid, which is um, the Better Boy and Brandy Wine combined. All right, have a great day.